And it's not a lot different for the patient. The patient still uh, arrives, puts on a gown, stands or sits, has compression with a paddle, but instead of the, the x-ray arm taking a picture just from top or side, it takes over an, a little arc, a short arc, it takes a series of about 15 pictures. And it maybe the, the actual exposure lasts about four or five seconds. So the difference for, for us as mammographers is real. And so if I, I, I'm trying to think of how best to explain it to someone, and one of the analogies is that if you think of the breast as kind of like a book, all right? So if you take a, a two-dimensional picture, you're just getting a flat image. Everything is compressed. All the tissue within the breast is, is overlapping each other. So for us, the challenge for mammographers from as long as I've been practicing has been both the, uh, that it's hard to find and confusing uh, because of the overlapping tissue. So sometimes the overlapping tissue on a 2D mammogram both mimics breast cancer or obscures breast cancer. If you took a two-dimensional picture of a book, you would see the covers, or if it was see-through, you might even see all the words on top of each other. And if you're looking for the word cancer in there, there might be times when all the letters line up correctly and you, know, you find that word, but that might be wrong. They may be on different pages. So, and then to find it on the right page is sometimes difficult because there are lots of other words around. So what, what the 3D does is it takes a series of little short arc pictures, and then that allows us as a radiologist to look about every millimeter through your breast. It really helps us with the overlapping, all the confusing parts of overlapping tissue. It really helps us see through.